it's Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. I have another cash envelope stuffing video for you guys. Um, so you get to this within a couple days. So I got paid yesterday and then my husband, he got paid today. It is the 1st of November. So happy November, everyone. Um, I can't believe that this year has gone by super fast, but I wanted to go ahead and film this cash envelope stuffing video for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and hopefully it motivates you to create your budget and to figure out like how you can manage your finances. And uh, yeah, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you will consider subscribing and let's just go on into the video. As I mentioned in my last video, I'm gonna be putting actual numbers here because, and I know I switched my mindset, but I had explained it a little bit in my last video, but I had a conversation with my husband and we we do want to keep certain things private, but I want my channel to be a real, like me being real and me being truthful and honest with you guys and hopefully encourage you guys not to make the same mistakes that I made. And there was a few things I had no clue when I was younger that I wish I would have known and I wish that I had somebody to tell me, don't do it. So like for instance, credit card debt, I do not recommend getting into credit card debt and getting into like car loans or car leases and that is what I have. I have two leases and I figured, you know what, I'm gonna get out of it and I'm gonna have a testimony about it. So I really hope that you guys get encouraged um, if you're in a similar situation that I am but we're gonna work on this and we are gonna get through tackling this debt. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a total here of the income that I've budgeted for this particular pay and that is this amount. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward through filling out these items. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and total everything. Okay, what am I missing now? Okay, so I realized I have a installment payment. I keep doing this. I keep like skipping over something, but it's always good to double check yourself, guys. So um, my husband, he recently got a phone and yes, we are financing it and I have to include this as part of my like debt. So I am adding extra funds to it. So it's going to be $48 that I'm actually including in my expenses. So I have a little cheat sheet over here and that's what I keep referencing because I had already budgeted out. So I'm going to go ahead and run the total again, including the $48. I also remembered and I also went to the post office. So I have to include that. Okay. All right, so that's the total. And now we're gonna take the income and subtract that. And that leaves us with 207 to work with. I'm not gonna worry about the change because the change can stay in my bank account. All right, now we're gonna break down like these sinking funds 
And I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this. Hopefully I don't mess up too much over here. All right, so I got that down. Now let's go ahead and add it up. Two oh seven. Perfect. All right, now we are gonna go into stuffing our cash envelopes. And I'm gonna go ahead and mark off the categories that I had withdrawn from my bank account. So that is giving, let's see. I withdrew grocery and gas. HOA stays in my account, but the rest of this, I did withdraw. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right. All right, so I think I have all of my envelopes out of my wallet. And yeah, let's just go on into everything. So there's gonna be 200 going into giving. And I still haven't gone to church yet because it's not Sunday, but yeah. So 200 goes in here. All right, and then grocery gets 75, 75. So this would be for the following week. I actually have to put this in another, or you know what? Oh no, that's, yeah, that's this week. Hello. Well, that's for this time. So yeah, I need a, to get another one of these envelopes. So I'm just gonna set this aside and I will get that later. Gas for me. Gets 25. I just put gas in my car, guys. I was on E. All right, so that is that for me. My husband gets $50 for his gas for the upcoming week. So I'll give that to him. And HOA, don't gonna do. Gifts. Now we're getting into these. So gifts gets $76. 50, 75. gets 10 right. car maintenance gets $20 and today I did deposit that 50 so that went back on my card always good to plan for like that rainy day you know all right personal for me I get ten dollars my husband gets ten dollars I'll give this to him he just he doesn't use the actual envelope he just sticks it in his wallet so whatever <laughs> gets five dollars so my husband he is gonna get dog food today so I he took the money that was in here and whatever is remaining from his shopping trip we'll just keep it in here 
um, the car fund gets seventy dollars. Nothing goes in vacation just yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in my safe, and I'm gonna put this in my wallet. This goes in my wallet. And then I just have in there there it is all right that is everything for this now we're gonna go ahead and make sure we add the information to this guy so we added $76 for gifts vacation we're not doing anything with that right now we added 20 car maintenance another 10 here um, I got 10 my husband got 10 I got 10 pets we added five dollars um, car we added 70 and then the HOA we added six Okay. All right, see if I could do math. This should be simple. So that's a seven. There should be 187 there. Don't have nothing there. 23, we got 20. Each got 17. That is. Um, $31 there. Let me do seven, eight, nine, ten. So 308. Yeah, 308. So 28. All right, so I have currently these balances for my envelopes that I keep in my safe and the ones that I keep in my wallet. And this is just a good way for me to keep track of what I have and what I am spending. And then when my husband gets home, he's gonna give me the receipt for our pet food and I will go ahead and I will deduct and mark off what I specifically have for pets. So yeah, guys, that is everything for today's budget video and sinking funds. So I really hope that you guys found it helpful. Hopefully you can figure out like a way that works for you to set up your budget. But yeah, as always, thank you guys so much. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys on my next video. Bye guys.